Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another video. And today we're talking about my car, which is a 2016 Subaru Impreza. Um, it's the base model and it's not a WX or an STI. So I already know you guys are gonna leave comments. It's totally okay. Just uh, try to be positive with them because like, I already know it's not a WX or an STI, but I'm just making the car my own. So bear with me, you know, haters gonna hate kind of thing. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and start with, I've added recently to the car. On the bottom here, I've added a front splitter. This is the most recent addition I've added, and it took me three hours because I had some complications on installing it. Um, more on that in another video if you guys want to know, like, what's the deal with that, you know, like my backstory on that. Um, I have a front license plate delete here because I lived in Colorado, and uh, you had to have a front plate on your car, but on these cars, you can't have a front plate here because these holes are too wide you have to drill new holes into it. And I didn't want to do that. So I have a front plate um, mount relocate kit, which basically is what this is. And that's what I used when I was in Colorado. It's still on the car because I can't really get it off. It's, it's stuck on there. So yeah. <laughs> um, as far as the badge is concerned, this is a, a JDM Impreza badge because as you guys know, I have the Impreza. Um, and uh, also I have a kind of like a rock guard or a bug guard that I've added recently as well. And um, I've got a lot of rock chips on the hood, so I was hoping to minimize future rock chips. That's why I have that there. Um, but yeah, uh, walking around the car, you guys might notice my windows are pretty dark. It's because I have 15% tint. So it's 15% tint all around with a 5% um, brow, I think it's called, right here on the, on the top. So 5% brow, 15 all around. And then I've got rain guards or weather guards, whatever you want to call them. Um, these are OEM, so straight from Subaru. Um, well, on behalf of Rally Sport, but it's a Subaru OEM part and um, definitely a good investment to invest in. Uh, you know, investing in quality parts is always the way to go. Um, now, of course, walking around the car, you may notice I have some stickers. Um, this sticker is uh, Keep Moving Forward from TJ Hunt. Um, LZ MFG is for uh, Adam LZ. They're just car YouTubers, basically. Um, then we've got UKF, which stands for UKF Dubstep. Um, as you guys may know, I really like electronic music, so that's the reason for that. Um, on the other side, I've got a few others. So this one is just the Subaru badge with a bunch of mountains and forests because I really like that. Um, this is a Karma Speed. Um, decal here, which uh, Karma Speed is another YouTuber car guy. This stands for Katana Style, which um, is a, another car YouTuber, which um, ironically enough, this YouTuber has the same car as mine, just the hatchback version, so the bigger version. Um, and he's done a ton of mods to his car. Like, I mean, like a ton. So um, yeah, you know, I definitely recommend uh, checking that guy out when you get a chance. I might link his channel in the description. I'm not too sure yet, but if you guys want to know who that guy is, just hit me up on like Instagram or in the comments or something and I'll, I'll let you know. Um, also something I forgot on the front of the car, I can't believe I forgot to mention this, but these uh, front headlights, these are not stock, like at all. Like these look nothing like stock. If you guys know these cars, uh, these cars have um, chrome on the inside, like all the way through. So with these, um, this upgrade I've done, um, this section right here is for the headlights and brights. In the very middle, those are the turn signals, and then the C lights are no longer halogen. Because the ones I had um, stock, they were halogen, so they only lit up like in the corner here, and that's it. So these actually light up all the way around. So really, really nice. Um, yeah, so very happy with that purchase too. Um, going around the car again, you guys may notice my wheels. Um, these are, I believe, MR131. Um, Motegi uh, track light wheels. Um, these are 17 inch and uh, stock I'm 15 inch so I upgraded to the 17s um, and these are Michelin Pilot Sport 4s. Um, looks like I've got a 20550 R17s on there um, for that tire and of course I've got the Rally Armor mud flaps down here and um, yeah so so that's that's some of the uh, the main things on the car. As far as engine mods and whatnot, I haven't done anything um, with that, but uh, you know, it's this car, 
I'm not really planning on, on like modifying as far as the engine is concerned. I'm just using the Subaru for what it is and um, taking it on road trips, you know, off-road sometimes and just having fun with it, you know? Um, so I know a lot of you guys in the comments are going to be like, well, why don't you just put that money into the engine? But uh, why don't I just buy like another car? <laughs> so that's just what I'm going to do. I'm just going to, I'm going to use this car until it dies on me, basically. That's my plan. And then I will buy another one that's already turbocharged or a platform that's easy to turbocharge or supercharge. I'll have to see where I'm at at that point in my life, but uh, that's the plan for now, at least. Um, if you're wondering, as far as the exhaust is concerned, you may hear it. It is a nameless performance, um, five inch muffler, and there is no resonator on the car, so it's resonator delete. Um, basically, they just go in there and they cut the resonator off and they straight pipe it, so it's pretty loud. Um, I'm not gonna rev it right now because there's a lot of like small homes and people around here and there's really no point in revving it anyways right now. Um, I might do a video, if you guys want me to do a video like, uh, like a flyby or like something like that, just exhaust related, um, let me know in the comments down below and I'll do that. I've seen a lot of those videos out there and it's a really easy video to shoot, but um, I didn't really never done one of those myself. Um, well, maybe I've done like one in like Colorado, but like um, never one in Kansas. So uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see that. Um, also, one last thing on the car. I've added, this was pretty recently, this is a tow hook and this little plastic piece likes to come out after I hit a bunch of bumps. But basically, um, this tow hook is made for the WX and STI, but as you can tell, I've made it work on my car as well. Um, so you basically drill a hole into this plastic piece. Um, you don't have to, but I, I wanted this big hole to be kind of covered up. Um, so that's what you do. And then you just basically screw this into the tow. Um, it's, it's threaded on the inside there. So you just screw it in. And this is able to hold a lot of power. Um, but of course, you know, I, I'm not gonna tow a vehicle that's heavier than mine because I'm not trying to destroy my car. But like, if anyone needs help, you know, uh, getting towed out of, a, out of a ditch or something, I do have tow straps in my car now. Like in the back of the car, I have tow straps. I have an emergency kit. You know, I have everything that you might need if you're, you know, going on a road trip or like, you know, it's very snowy out, um, just to like help someone else or for someone else to help you if you get into a ditch and get stuck. So um, I've decided to uh, get some things for situations like that. Um, but yeah, basically I just really wanted to make a video about my car here. Um, not a whole lot done to it, um, but it does look way different from stock. Um, I'm pretty much done with the build. You know, I, I could add a, uh, custom cold air intake, but that's like 300 bucks that doesn't really do a whole lot for the car. So I don't think I'll actually do that. Um, but as far as this car, you know, it, it's basically modified as much as it can be safely and reliably. So, um, yeah, you know, also one more thing before I end the video here, um, you guys may not care about this, but I've got seat covers inside. Um, they're actually red. So going into the car here, these seat covers they're just they're just red so it's it's not an actual seat like a racing seat or anything it's just red seat covers the red and black because the whole theme of my car is supposed to be black gray and red so um that's kind of the way i have it set up but yeah so that is my car for you guys a little bit of a overview um hopefully you guys like it hopefully you think it looks nice um I put a lot of uh, time and uh, money into this car, for sure. Um, but of course, you know, nothing compared to, you know, the drag cars out there that I see out on the roads and like, you know, all the people who have like Hellcats and like, you know, scat packs and all kinds of stuff, you know, STIs that are like built blocks and all that kind of stuff. Like, I haven't spent that amount of money, but for what it's worth, I think the car looks nice. So um, hopefully you guys think so as well. Um, hopefully you guys liked today's video. With all that being said, um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.